Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today is July the 4th, which is a celebration for our American cousins that celebrate Independence Day. So today I thought I would do a quick art journal page in celebration of all things American and as a show of solidarity to my American friends and followers who may not be quite as happy with their country as they should be at the moment. So this one's for you guys. So I'm going to switch over to my overhead camera and show you what I'm going to do. So this is a sheet of 12 inches by 8 inches, 300 GSM or 140 pound watercolour cardstock. It's not cold or hot pressed. So there is, it's not super smooth, there is some texture. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that I've put a mark here and I've also put a little mark just here where I'm going to square off a little shape that I'm going to paint in there in a little moment. So today my colours are going to be, obviously, red, white and blue. So to start off with I'm going to just put a little bit of blue paint onto a paper plate and I'm going to add a little bit of water, not a lot, but just a little and I have a, um, how big is that, it's about three quarters of an inch flat brush. I'm just going to mix in some of that paint, load up my brush a little bit And then I can begin to paint my little painterly block. Now I'm not going to do a total block paint. I want to leave some of that sketchy whiteness at the edges. Like so. So that's my blue. So I'm going to rinse off my brush and dry the blue and I'll be right back when that's dry. So now my blue is all dry. I'm going to bring back in that red. Now this is the reddest red that I've got in my collection of these particular paints. So I'm going to bring back my paper plate to add some of that red to the paper plate. And again, add a little bit of water and I have my cleaned off brush and I'm just going to mix that paint let it go in on the brush is probably going to end up being slightly more pinky than red and I'm going to just begin by painting some red stripes. Now obviously this flag that I'm creating is not meant to be totally accurate to the real American flag, it's only a graphical representation for an art journal page. I'll do one more at the bottom. should do me. So once again grab the heat gun and let's get it dried. So next up I have a new 6x6 stencil of Uncle Sam. Now this is a stencil that I've prototyped. I'm not sure whether I actually want to release it for sale 
if you are interested in purchasing this stencil, because this is the only one in existence at the moment, if you would like me to go into full scale production of this stencil, then please just leave me a comment in the comment section below saying that you would like it, um, because I'm not too sure about it to be honest, but I just wanted to show you it anyway. And it just seemed the perfect day to be able to test it out. So I've stuck it down at the bottom of my stars and stripes with a little piece of washi tape. Now it's not very strong washi tape and I just want to hold it in place while I do my next bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit more down the sides. And I have checked this washi tape it does actually work because I don't want another washi tape fail live on camera. And then that's going to hopefully hold that down sufficiently for me to do what I need to do next. So I have another paper plate and this time I have the Dilutions black marble acrylic paint and I'm going to drop the lid onto the paper plate. I have a blending foam that I'm going to pick up some of that black paint and I'm going to just work it into the sponge until I'm happy the sponge has taken enough of the paint in. And I don't want to get it too smeary. And then I'm going to begin by adding the paint around the stencil. And I'm doing it very, very gently. Just pressing down and dabbing down to fill in the detail on the stencil. And when I can feel the paint starting to run out, I'm going to load up again. Nice and easy, nice and light. Trying to get it into as much detail as I can. worked. We'll soon find out. So we'll peel off the washi tape from the top very very gently and I've just noticed I've missed a bit. There you go you see. the side Cool, let's give that a blast. Okay, so now the page is dry, I'm ready to type out my um, quote for the page, which I've already done half of. I'm just finishing off the last bit. 
So I need. There we go. So that's the second part. I love my label maker. Okay, I'll just put that to one side. So I have my legend. So I may just cut that down so it fits in there. So if I can find a pair of schizars. Schizarettes. Just trim off the front of each one. That should fit quite nicely along that gap there now. And because it's self adhesive, it makes it quite easy to stick down. Just make sure I get it in the optimum position. Perfect. <clears throat> and the last part, I'm just going to trim off the same that I did before. Peel the back off. And then stick it down. So all I want to do now is just to add a little bit of grunge around the outside, but I'm not going to do it in um, in brown, I'm actually going to use the remnants of the paint that was left onto that ink foam. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a black border all the way around the page. Careful not to smudge it. Make sure I don't get any on my fingers. It's a little bit too tidy at this side for my liking. That's, more, that's better. I'm happy with that. So all I have to do now is just sign and date it along the bottom. So I dedicate this to all my friends in America. So I hope you do celebrate the 4th of July. It's a great holiday and you should be proud of your independence and what your country stands for. And I know some of you aren't all that happy at the moment, but it will pass. This too will pass. That's all from me for now. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.